you'll have to excuse the picture quality, but I've got the car light on because it is the evening. Um, this is a Facebook Marketplace pickup, which I'm very excited about. The reason why I'm excited about it is because A, it's local. I've only had to drive 10 minutes down the road. Um, it's only a few miles away. I could have jogged here, let's be honest. Um, the second reason is it's a game that I'm adding to my collection. So it's not a game I'm getting and then flipping the trade in for a bit of profit. It's a game I've wanted for a while. It's a triple A game. So I didn't want to pay the full Nintendo price tag. And I've wanted it for a while, but the price of these Nintendo AAA games don't tend to go down. So it's the um, so it's the Mario title you can see up in the corner there. Um, it's one I haven't got hold of yet, purely because of the price. And I was just waiting, being very patient, waiting for one to come along, um, good value. So that trades in for £26 CEX vouchers. And I'm over the moon because he only wanted £25 for it. So I could straight away trade it in um, and I wouldn't be losing any money. I'd be gaining a pound. Um, but that's not what I want to do. I want to keep the game. I want to play the game. But that's how I look at it with these Facebook Marketplace pickups. I always say if you can buy the game at Voucher Trading at CEX, it's a no-brainer because, because you can play with it, you can get bored of it, trade it in or keep it in a collection, trade it in the future, and you know you're not going to be losing any money. So it's a, a dead cert for me. That's sort of my philosophy. Pick up any games you can that you can trade in for the same equal price. So... So yeah, I was absolutely over the moon with this one. It's only down the road. Um, so I'm about to head in now and grab it. I did message and say, tried to knock a cheeky fiver off, would you take 20? Um, but yeah, he said no, he wouldn't budge on that, which is fair enough. Even used the old, have you got chain for a five? I haven't got it trick. And he was like, yes, I have. <laughs> so, so yeah. But um, yeah, absolutely over the moon. So I've been waiting ages for this. Um, thought I might have to bite the bullet and pay a little bit more. But yeah, it still sells second hand for like 40 quid. Um, and it's not going anywhere with the pricing, so yeah. So yeah, let's go pick it up, check it out. Right, we've got it, it's here. Super Mario 3D World, Bowser's Fury. Um, yeah, obviously it's a hard plastic case. See if I can open this with my mouth, very hygienic. Um, yeah, game's all in there. So yeah, really good, really happy with that. Great deal, like I say, trades in for a pound more than what I brought it for in cash, and it's local around the corner. It's a game that's not going to go down in price for a, a long time, let's be honest. And it's a game that I want to add to my collection, so I'm over the moon with that. And fair play to him, because I tried to be cheeky, and obviously it's 25 quid. I said he got change for a tenner. I tried to get it for, you know, for 20 quid, and he was like, no, I've got change. And I went round with two 20-pound notes, trying it on, thought he won't have 15-pound change. And he did. He gave me a handful of coins and mugged me right off. Done me like a kipper. But it's good for me because it just goes straight in the old in the old tray in the car for the boot sale. So I was happy to get a bit of change. So fair play. I doff my cap to him. So yeah, what a great pickup. Over the moon with that. This is another Facebook Marketplace pickup, which I am over the moon and ecstatic about because it's a game, again, I want to add to my personal collection. Um, it's a short journey. It was only a 15-minute drive just in the next town over, and it's a good deal. Um, this is a game. It's Catherine's Full Body is a game. You can see up there how much it is for CEX. Um, I'm paying just a couple pound more than you, know, you would get for trading it in for vouchers, um, but I'm happy to do that because... I think the main reason why I've seen this game, um, and I think it only, you know, can sit up in the corner, goes for thirty pound or so, but it's not. It's an interesting one. It's like a puzzler one. It looks a bit saucy. It's definitely one of those ones which you would know for obvious reasons because it's a strange one. It will go up in value. Um, and I watched it on a video recently on One More Turns YouTube channel. I'll put a link to his channel in the description so you can check him out. He's a top guy and it's a a great new channel and he's soaring, doing really well. So make sure you check him out. One More Turn. Um, and he mentioned it on um, a recent video I watched yesterday um, on his Nintendo Switch pickups. He did like a, um, you know, ones for the future, sort of rare and, you know, talking about price increases and games to grab now because he thinks they're going to go up. Obviously, it's all opinionated and some will, some won't. Um, but this was a title he mentioned and I thought, Do you know what, that's just ticked it over for me. Next time I see it at a good price, I'm going to grab it. So I saw it today on Facebook Marketplace, less than 24 hours after seeing him talk about it on his video, and I thought, Do you know what, that's worth it. So I'm picking it up now for 20 quid. And like I say, I can trade it in for CEX vouchers for, you know, only a couple quid less. So I'm happy with that. So Catherine's full body. Let's go and check it out. Right, I got it. It's there. I got a bit lost trying to find it. But um, yeah, as you can see from the cover, it's a bit of a quirky game. It's um, 
it's on all, all formats, all different platforms. But yeah, it's a puzzler game. But it's a little bit, you know, there's some of them anime, Nintendo, questionable titles. This is one of them. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it's a limited number of copies, but um, it's one that's been tipped. The price might go up. So I'm happy to get that for £20. It trades in CX vouchers for £18. And it's got the cartridge and little manual in there as well. Of course, it's got the cartridge in there. I meant to say, sorry, yeah, it's got the booklet in there, which I didn't know it had that in. So yeah, absolutely over the moon. So I'm going to check that out. Might even do a live stream to see what that's all about. So stay tuned if you want to see Catherine's full body. <laughs> Right, so I can add these into the collection behind me, the two Facebook Marketplace pickups. As you can see, <laughs> the shelves are getting very full, hence why I've got to trade a few Switch games out. It's either that or get some more space, some more shelves. Uh, but it's definitely a few I would like to get rid of there. So I'll find some space for those two. Um, also, a couple of other pickups as well. Three, which I got off of a friend. So it was Mate's Race. Um, sorry, Mate's Race. A friend was downsizing his Nintendo Switch collection. Um, so I picked up, I won't say the prices because he'd done me a very good deal. You know, he was helping me out. I um, picked up Stubbs the Zombie, which I wanted for my own personal collection as well. Destroy All Humans, um, so I wanted a copy of that. And also Sonic Forces. I've got Sonic Frontiers, but I haven't got Sonic Forces. So another three excellent games. So a nice little total for a day. Five Switch games. You can't complain with that. And then there is one more. One more Facebook Marketplace pickup I picked up. Um, and... Well, check it out. Check it out there. How nice is that CRT? I saw that on Facebook Marketplace. It had the control, the control was working. It had a little VHS video in there and I really could not resist that. Um, so I have got a CRT, same size, boring silver one. I'm just a sucker for the character and the color of it. And when I got there, um, the gentleman I'd say, oh, hope I'm not wrong here, but I'd say he was in his mid to late 60s, and he was playing Zelda on it. And that just added even more character to it. A little sticker on the top, no idea what that is. Is that something for Harry Potter? I don't know. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. Really happy with that. So that'd be really cool for the 8-bit stuff, you know, the Atari, um, even, the, even the NES. So yeah, absolutely awesome to pick that up. So some fantastic pickups there. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be back for another video. New videos every Wednesday and Sunday. We'll see you soon for some more video game hunting. Take care. Cheers. Welcome to Marathon Gaming. Boom!